Alright guys, we're going to disassemble the Moto Z Play. Keep in mind the Moto Z Play disassembly is different than the Moto Z Force disassembly. So if you want to see the Moto Z Force disassembly, click on the link in the video. Alright, first thing you're going to do, you're going to take out the SIM tray, which we've already done. And then, next thing you need to do, you're going to need to heat up the sides of the screen with either a heat gun or a hair dryer, whichever you have. Alright, once you heat the front up, you're going to have to use a pry tool and you're going to have to pry the screen off the frame. So, I prefer to use a guitar pick because then and also try to use a plastic tool so you don't damage the frame. Alright, once you work your way around the screen and pry the adhesive off, you're going to have to lift the screen from the side where the SIM card tray is. Which will reveal the inside of the phone. You have two cables connected to the main board. You have the main one on the top. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to lift the, lift the lock up, the black bracket. Once you got that lock lifted up, you can pull the screen cable out. Next you have this bottom one right here. It has a white lock. Lift that bracket up. And then this cable goes for the fingerprint. So pull that out. And then you can pry the screen off. Alright, next there are going to be six T4 screws on the bottom of the phone. You're going to have to remove. Once you remove those screws, you can use your pry tool. Lift this bottom plastic piece up. So this is basically one part of one of the antennas. It also holds the vibrator on the back of it. And now you have access to disconnecting the battery. The cable that connects to it is right here. You're gonna have to lift that up. All right, next there's six T4 screws on the top you're gonna have to remove. One of them is hidden over here on the, underneath the small tab of the battery. You're gonna have to fold that battery tab up a little bit to see it and then remove that one as well. All right, now that you got those screws removed, you're gonna lift this top plastic piece And you're going to have to remove this from the frame, just lift it up, it disconnects from the caches. So this basically is the top antenna assembly, also has the top speaker. Okay, so once you remove the top and the bottom, you have three more screws over here for the main board, one on the sides, and you have one hidden over here underneath the battery tab, right here, just fold it up a little bit and you'd see it. 
you can remove those in, if you want to remove the main board. But before you remove the main board, you'd have to re remove the battery. So in order to remove the battery, you have to heat the back of the phone up so the adhesive underneath the battery would get warm. And then there's a tab over here, this black tab, lift it up. And then you'd pull the battery up and pry it away from the phone. And then once the battery is out, you'd be able to re replace the main board or remove the main board if you needed to in order to replace any of the cameras. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and reassemble the phone. Let's put the top back on. Put the screws back in place. All right, once you got the top back in, connect your battery cable back to the board by pushing down on it. And then put the bottom antenna bracket back in. Make sure it clicks into place. And then once it's in, put the screws back on. All right, so at this point, once you have the bottom and the top place back in, all the screws back in, you're gonna put the screen back on. We're gonna connect the bottom cable for the fingerprint scanner first. All right, once you've got the bottom cable back in, locked in place, you can put in the top cable for the screen. And once you got that locked back in place, put the screen in its place. And then press down firmly and apply some heat. You're gonna apply some heat around the edges, and the top and bottom, so when you press down, you have a better stronghold. Alright guys, and you're done.